Hi, I'm John Hamburger from Croton on Hudson, New York. Uh, my car is a 1950 Ford convertible. Uh, I can tell you that I, I bought this through eBay, believe it or not, and got a very good deal. I got what I paid for, actually. The car is from California. I am only the fourth owner of the car. I had to finish it off with some minor engine work, uh, finished off the interior, had to put a new top on it. It is the original transmission. It is a three-speed with an overdrive. Uh, the engine is a Mercury engine. It's not the original Ford flathead, but it is a Merc flathead. The rest of the drivetrain is all original. Uh, the front end on this is a Fat Man front end with a Mustang II steering, power steering, with disc brakes up front. I need it for safety. It is not all original, of course. It has been lowered to some degree and has been minor customizing done to it. It has been nose and decked. And that's about it with the car. That's all I can tell you, other than it is not the original color. The original color was a pale yellow, but this has been a golden yellow fleet color, it's called. I've been coming here for about five, six years now. I also have another vehicle. I like it because it's, it's short. You don't spend a whole day here. And the diversity of old and new vehicles, plus the motorcycles that you have. Plus you have vendors to come and see and buy things that you might be interested in also. There is a, a great diversity of people, and it's close to home. And you get people from at least two and three different states. And the, the many, many different cars between the old 50s, 60s, and even the 70s cars. So it's a great mix. Hello, I'm Steve Tiriano from Monroe, New York. And I have a 59 GMC Fleeside pickup. It's got an LS3 high performance engine, custom exhaust, 4L60 automatic overdrive transmission, airbag suspension, uh, 373 positive rear end, and it's a um, rotisserie uh, job done. Everything's been done from head to toe. All resto mod interior, air conditioning, the whole nine yards. Um, if everybody's interested, it is for sale. I mean, definitely no rush to sell it, but, and it's all there. If they ever want it, my telephone number is 914-260-0108. I live in Monroe, New York, and no disappointments. Hi, my name is Chris Cox. Uh, I'm from Monroe, New York. Uh, this is my 1938 Ford pickup rat rod. It's got a 12 valve Cummins in it, custom frame and uh, full air ride, and custom built interior, and a whole bunch of little odds and ends that are hard to name, but you can see it close up. Yeah, it's probably my fifth time driving it. Just finished it this winter. Father son project. Uh, built that at home. Mac air cleaner. Dodge Trans, the axles I have a 88 Ford Super Duty. And then I got a, a barn door bed and custom shortened tailgate. A couple small things, but little details you can't really, simple. <laughs> it's simple and fun. I did all the welding, the fab work. I made all the seats, everything I made. My dad did all the plumbing and electrical and took time, but I enjoyed it. That's all it is. How long have you been coming to show? You're in Monroe. Yeah, I've been coming since I was a kid. Oh, really? Yeah, that's my dad's truck and my grandfather's truck. So, it's a family thing. So, it's a lot of fun. My dad's been in the business almost 40, 50 years. My grandfather's been doing it his whole life, and I've been doing it since I could walk. So, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Well, my name is Gary. I'm from Stony Point, and uh, thanks for coming and checking out my 1965 GTO. This was a, uh, a family purchase 32 years ago. Um, my father had put me on a mission to find an original uh, GTO and it took, uh, it took three years. We looked from the early 80s and basically uh, around 1987, we found this in upstate New York of all places. Um, this is a pre-internet, so it was, combing through classified ads and, and, and Hemmings, and this is where this car came out of. Um, it's never been restored. Uh, it's uh, basically an original car. Basically, it's been uh, babied all its life. Um, <laughs> it's kind of grimy underneath, but that's what 
part of the charm of it. It has its original tires at home. It has an original spare tire. On, a, on occasion, we'll take it to the drag strip just for uh, old time's sake. And it'll go, uh, it'll go uh, 14 O's at uh, 99 miles an hour. And that's a lot of fun. It's uh, the base 389 four barrel, which uh, at the time was rated 335 horsepower. And it has a, uh, a two speed uh, automatic transmission. It has also a basic 323 standard rear. And um, the only options are uh, the, the automatic trans and the uh, power steering and a radio. I've been coming to this show, oh my goodness. Probably, if it's on 20 years, I'm here 20 years. Hi, my name is Salvatore Sferlaza. I'm from Glen Rock, New Jersey. This is my 1986 Chevy K10. Uh, I've had it for six years now. I got it in stock form. It didn't have an engine. And uh, from there, it morphed into this. I took it completely down to the frame, took the body off, had it all sandblasted. I had uh, an engine built for it. It's a 350. A lot of work done to it. Uh, got the one ton axles. And. Uh, Put in crossover steering with hydraulic ram assist. Had custom shock hoops made, custom ladder bars made, custom drive shaft loop made, custom stainless steel roll cage made. I did the whole interior with uh, custom switches, gauges. Took seats out of a Suburban, put them in there. Everything was all rhino lined underneath. Changed out the grill. Six years and counting, my father and I did most of the work. The only thing that we didn't do was uh, paint it and build the engine. Everything else was all us. All, a lot of custom one-off parts that are here and there. It's a three, it's a eight inch uh, body lift, which is now nine. I had, uh, I re-arched the springs and uh, it's a three inch body lift, but I raised the bumpers and I raised the gas tank so you wouldn't see it. It's got a compressor for train horns on there. It's got a sound system in it. All bunch of goodies here and there. Just to, just a show truck that I use every once in a while. It doesn't get used much. That's why it stays so clean. So, uh, how long you been coming to the show? Uh, well, it took me two years to get it roadworthy, but I came with another truck that I had at the time, so probably about seven years. I ran into somebody who told me about it. Uh, I believe when I was at a restoration shop looking for the other truck that I had, and after everything they said to do, I said, you know what, I'm going to start get something else. I've had blazers all my life. I got into it because of my father. Uh, he had one back in 79. And uh, he got me hooked. And I've been dreaming about these trucks ever since I was 14 years old. There's two interesting stories about it. When my dad told me about his truck, we were at Raceway Park. And uh, I made a promise that I would go back there one day and bring my truck, and last year I did, and I won Best in Show. It was uh, a long time, and then uh, we actually just had our, got married this weekend, and this was the truck we used to uh, drive away in. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Howie. Uh, we got a 1949 Ford shoebox. We got a 302 motor in it with a C6 tranny. Got airbags in it. Um, one of a kind chop. We got an eight, in, eight inch windshield. Inside's pretty dope too. Looks like a tuxedo. So we got it all, all crazy looking inside. So it's a fun, fun car to drive. Definitely got it from uh, last year, last November. I got it from Texas. I found it on eBay. Yep. Yeah. Took a chance. Send the guy money. The next thing you know, I got this good car right here. So <laughs> it's cool. I just, uh, I haven't drove it often, it's like my third time driving it, but we, uh, we're hauling ass with it, tearing it up, so we're having a good time. Yeah, got our first plaque today at Bear Mountain, it's cool, it's, uh, it's a pleasure, it's a fun, fun car to drive.